Hey everyone, what's happening? It's Jados X here, and in this week's Mini Top Monday, we're going to take a look at what to do when 3ds Max edge chamfering doesn't play nicely. If you checked out last week's Mini Top Monday, you would have seen that we used edge chamfering to slightly soften hard edges on our 3D models to add a touch of realism. We're going to try and do that again right now, and you're going to see what happens when it doesn't go quite to plan. I've got a nice hard edge here, which I'm going to try and do it to. So I'll just select it and I'll just start the chamfering process. Generally what should happen is, when we increase the number of edge segments, you should see a nice smooth curve forming here which I'm tracing out with my mouse now. However in this case, all that's happening is we're adding extra segments to this rather flat edge and that's not what we want at all. Now it's actually a fairly common issue, but it doesn't always happen and it's not what chamfering is supposed to do. So there is luckily a quick fix. What you do is you start out your chamfer, you pick roughly what size you like and you make sure that you only have one edge segment, has to be one. Now that we've done that, we're going to move on to our second iteration of chamfering. Now to apply a modifier and then to continue to use the modifier a second time, you can just hit this plus button, which is pretty cool. And that's the same as hitting the tick button and then going and press the button, pressing the button again for anyone who doesn't know. Now we're starting our second iteration of chamfering and we're just going to turn this down a bit. And as you can see, we've got this nice curve forming now where it wouldn't happen before. That's done, now we're going to go for a third round. Generally I find two is okay, but if you like more, go ahead. So we've done three iterations, and as you can see we're done. All that's left now is to apply the correct smoothing groups. So now that I've applied the smoothing groups, let's take a look and see if it actually worked. There we go, so as you can see here, we've actually been left with this really lovely curve that looks almost the same as if chamfering had actually worked properly the first time. Now I must stress that this doesn't always happen, but I just thought I'd share this quick fix because when it does happen it can be really annoying because sometimes it might only happen with one part of your model and not the other part, so this is a really nice way to just get to get all the chamfering to line up properly. So thanks for watching this week's episode of Mini Tap Monday, and I really hope this helps you out if you've ever been faced with this problem.